Hog Island, for a lot of people, especially those that have a connection, is such a special place. It's like a little Eden. Even though it's got huge mosquitoes and a lot of snakes and a lot of sand, and but it's just something about it that keeps wanting you to go back. I've seen grown men talk about Hog Island that lived there, was born there, lived there, and had to move off. I've seen them talk about, uh, do it myself. Just get emotional, you know? Because it was a way of life that you can never reclaim. All the seafood you want, wildfowl. I mean, it was like, if you want something to eat, go out in the backyard and get it. The ladies, they all canned, had the little garden. You know, they uh, put up vegetables. If you wanted a house, you built it. You didn't seek a contractor, an architect, and whatever. They raised sheep, and they spun the wool, and they made their own cloth. If the family needed clothing, mother made them. As a matter of fact, a picture of my two older brothers and I in the little sailor suits. She made every bit of it. On Hog Island, even though you weren't related to everybody, uh, you knew you could rely on them if, if you needed something. You didn't even have to ask. If you were trying to launch a boat and somebody came by, they're gonna stop and help you. People saw Hog Island as being lazy, but that wasn't true. You know, it's just that they, they weren't consumed with things, they were consumed with life. And to them, a good life was enjoying what they had. My father put food on the table, whether it be something he bought from a store, but most likely it was something he caught himself, something he shot himself, or something that was grown. And uh, that's, uh, that's not a bad life.